Hello, valuable students. Today we're going to talk about something near and dear to my heart. Ads. Every YouTuber's got ads, myself included, and it's not a competition, but some might even say that I have the best ads. Or at least that's what I titled my investor reel that I send over to potential sponsors. Hey Eric, screenshot this and send it to prospective advertisers. The execution of this ad was so good I actually watched it. This video really challenges the idea that sponsored content and good content are mutually exclusive. I'd watch a full season of Novelberry. This guy's the only man who can repeatedly show an advertisement and have me not bored. I sat through a 27 minute ad and I loved every second of it, Lamau. The diner scene had me so invested in it that when the guy said he dreamed about NordVPN it surprised me because I had forgotten and it was a paid Yo, whatever they're paying you to do those ads, it ain't enough, dude. Your mom. No, you. Eric is the only creator where I watch the entire ad and it never feels like one. The cinematography and the sponsorship part is phenomenal. I thought I would never say this, but I enjoyed that ad. Holy shit, that NordVPN ad was Oscar worthy. That cheesesteak ad should win a goddamn Emmy. To be honest, that's probably the best ad in any video ever. If real commercials were like Eric's, I might actually watch How them. does Eric make all of these sponsors impossible to skip? Only channel on YouTube where I look forward to the ad. Hell yeah, video was garbage, but the ad was awesome. This is the only channel where I can see includes paid promotion pop up and actually get excited over it. Only Eric could get away with a three and a half minute mid-roll ad. I absolutely love how Eric makes legitimate quality commercials for YouTube ads. I almost instinctively skipped ahead when the ad started, then I remembered who I was watching. This ad read is rather tame. Building explodes. Eric, internet comment etiquette salvia. The ad king of YouTube. Soon Eric gonna be writing ads for everyone. See, now that's a good ad. Crazy that VPN has, after all these years, become Eric's bra size. What the hell? How'd that get in there? Hey, Eric, did you hear Sean Connery died? Ah, oh, shit, and that's how I find out? God. This cold open was brought to you by Tyson Chicken. If you get sick from our meat, Larry over in accounting wins 200 bucks. <laughs> Ads. We hate them, don't we? They're a chore, an interruption. Like driving down a long, boring highway, wishing we could just teleport to the end. But what if I told you there was a better way? What if I told you there existed a perfect ad? An ad that could change the world. That's why here at Internet Comment Etiquette LLC, we are constantly working to innovate the sponsored YouTube video genre. To stay ahead of the competition. That means we must learn from the mistakes of ads in the past, such as this. Wow! Pacino. It's not Al anymore. It's Dunk. Dunkachino? Don't mind if I do. What's my name? Dunkachino. This implies his real name is Al Pacino. Wouldn't it actually be Dunk Pacino? The worst part is that if Al Pacino changed his name to Dunk, he wouldn't be called Dunkachino. It'd be Dunk Pacino. Wouldn't it be Dunk Pacino though? It's so sad when our icons sell out. Sad indeed. Selling out means betrayal. Putting money ahead of art. Your favorite song gets used in a car commercial. Next thing you know, you're sick of it. The notion of selling out used to be that product placements and sponsorships only existed because of greed. But on YouTube, those things can be the very fuel that keeps your favorite show running. It's not about getting that extra paycheck anymore. It's about finally having a choice. Can you excuse me for just one second? I need to leave a comment about my penis. I gained three inches and saved my marriage by eating Burger King's $5 Whopper meal. I don't know what kind of blood magic witchcraft goes into these Burger King burgers to make them such blood pumping libido boosters. All I know is nobody buys this shit for how it tastes. Because let's be honest, Burger King tastes like dog garbage. That is what a dog would consider garbage if it was in charge of its own home and given a trash can with the understanding that whatever's in there will be taken away forever. So whatever a dog would consider gross enough to throw out, that's what a Whopper tastes like. Good thing it makes your dick big enough to need new shorts. Also, you're gonna need new shorts because Burger King makes you shit yourself. This message brought to you by Wendy's Twitter. Wendy's Twitter, now hiring people who can use the word glizzy in a sentence. And post! As I was saying, it's about choice. The sponsored YouTube video genre is littered with unchosen paths. And that's what makes my job so exciting. Every time I clock into work, I discover something new and I see so clearly now the need for sponsored content inside YouTube videos. Because YouTube's own AdSense program is no more useful than a phantom limb. We got false DMCA claims, demonetization, a vague terms of service that seems to be carried out by automated systems. And when you are monetized, you have no choice over what ads play on your video. I mean, in my case, uh, I've had PragerU ads playing on my videos for a long time. I, maybe they still do, I don't know, but let me show you why that's a problem. Let me load up a PragerU video. The mission of PragerU. Oh, okay, and play. Reagan had it right, and we are getting it wrong. 
Our kids aren't learning that America is a land of opportunity, a defender of freedom around the world, a source of pride. They're learning that America is a land of inequality and racism, an imperialist power, something to be ashamed of. And here's what I got to say about that. I attended PragerU back in 2015 on a wrestling scholarship. That is until they shut down the wrestling program because the coaches kept banging all the kids. But hey, that happens everywhere. That's not just a PragerU thing. Unfortunately, it also meant I was stuck taking normal classes and trying to keep my GPA up without being a star athlete. And man, those classes were so weird. My civics teacher kept showing me cartoon frogs and complaining about freedom of speech anytime a student asked him to put his dick away. I took a film studies class, but every week my libertarian teacher just played Fight Club and tried to explain why cryptocurrency is safer than the stock market. I still remember my first kiss in the quad of PragerU right under the 80 foot tall statue of Jordan Peterson. One time I aced a test just by writing I don't like big government for every answer. My favorite memory has to be when we held a big anti-taxation rally that got so out of hand they had to call in the National Guard, which did end the rally but only because the entire student body was also in the National Guard. They say your college years are how you shape the rest of your life. After my time at PragerU, I'd have to say the rest of my life is shaped like Ron Ronald Reagan's dangling flaccid penis as he wanders the hall of the White House in confusion, talking to paintings and leaving a trail of piss wherever he goes until he can be wrangled back into his chair and forced to sign whatever bill puts more black people in prison. Thank you, PragerU. And remember, the U stands for Uruguay Offshore Accounts, so good luck following that money, you bitch-ass feds. And post! Well, won't that be awkward if PragerU decides to run an ad before this video? That's their choice, though. It's out of my hands. Besides, everybody skips their shitty ads anyway. But with integrated sponsorships, we are seeing increased audience retention across the board. And by looking at a couple examples, it's easy to understand why. Here's Internet Historian, one of the top-tier ad men on YouTube. He knows what he's doing. Good. Why is bad? No, wait. The sarcasm is there, but it's respectful. It keeps your eye, but you never feel like you're being tricked. And here's Adam Ragusier, or Ragusier, I don't know. This video is sponsored by the government of Jola Namdo, or South Jola Province in Korea. This guy filmed an entire recipe based on a sponsor. We're going to use some of the beautiful local ingredients of this seaside province to make a traditional dish of dried fish in chili sauce. Is this selling out? Is Adam Ragusier choosing personal gain over his audience? Let's ask them. Dude literally just got paid by a whole ass province to cook a fish. This man really gets sponsored by a whole ass government? This man got sponsored by South Korea? He literally got sponsored by an entire province of a country where he doesn't even live. If that's not success, I don't know what is. A government sponsored video? Damn, you're hitting it big, Adam. I have a paper due tonight and I'm watching South Korean fish propaganda. The answer is his audience loves it. I don't see anyone selling out here. What I see is a celebration. Try pulling that off in the next Transformers movie, huh? How to skip annoying sponsor segments on YouTube. Sponsor block. Wait, what the fuck is this? Sponsor block is a browser extension for Chrome and Firefox that automatically skips sponsor segments in YouTube videos. No, no, you can't do that. Besides sponsors, sponsor block can also skip intros, end cards, self-promotion and more. Self-promotion? What? The well, who else is gonna promote you? With the extension installed, when you encounter a reported sponsor segment, you will see a colored bar in the timeline. Once the playhead reaches that time, sponsor block automatically skips and displays a quick notification. Tell me you bastards haven't been doing this to my channel. Where's my Halloween special? Shut up, there's more. <sighs> Shit, it's just an ad. No! Oh, that ad was the whole reason I made this insanely high production value original horror short. It was all written around the ad. Oh god, what about my artificial intelligence video? No, 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 that thing was 40% sponsorship. Oh. Oh no! Look how they massacred my boy! To report a new sponsor segment, go to the beginning of the segment and click Starts Now. Then go to the end of the segment and click Ends Now. If you are certain the times are correct, click Submit. Alright, well I'm just gonna go ahead and mark this whole video as an ad just to prove a fucking point and submit. Anyway, part of being the best ad man on YouTube means... I know how to adapt at the times. Yo, I just heard from my advertisers that everybody's using this goddamn plugin to skip my ads, but I don't see anything in here about skipping YouTube comments, so check it out. This post is brought to you by Nude Celebs for Free. That's right, if you're still looking for the perfect holiday gift for that special someone in your life, we got a special running right now where you can get AI enhanced 4K footage of Rip Torn's blowjob from the man who fell to earth. Talk about daddy may I have some sausage. This guy's bringing the whole deli. Nude Celebs for Free, the only website where we still remember that time Kevin Bacon showed his 
dick and wild things. But it's not just dudes at Nude Celebs for free. No, sir. We also have exclusive archival footage of Eleanor Roosevelt getting finger blasted by a time traveling Oprah Winfrey. Come see for yourself at Nude Celebs for free. Sign up today for a free clip of Huey Lewis whipping his dick out in shortcuts. There you go. Skip that, you goddamn freeloaders. And advertise. Well, that sponsor block extension is a setback for sure. But as technology innovates, so do we, perhaps by creating a video where the entire time it's leading up to the reveal of the ad itself, so you don't want to skip it. I don't know, something like that. But this, this is no ordinary integrated sponsorship. No. This is the perfect ad. And that's why I gathered all of you here for this focus group. Can everyone still hear me? Oh my god, here we go. Holy Eric. shit. Yes. My dick is so good. hard. Good, 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 good. Well, thank you for sitting through that. And now the moment that all 100 of you have been waiting for. The perfect ad. And play. Hey, come on down to NordVPN.com slash Big Money for our Black Friday sale. That's right, I put on my best bib and tucker for the occasion. So if you're still browsing around the internet with your IP address hanging out like a trouser snake in the wind, well, let me put a B in your bonnet. NordVPN.com slash Big Money hides your IP address and encrypts your browsing data. So when somebody tries to snoop on you, all they get is a bag of nails. Which is to say that they ain't gonna find shit. Oh, Lordy, I tell you, NordVPN.com slash Big Money lets you connect to thousands of super fast servers from sea to shining fucking sea. And now with this Black Friday deal, you can get 68% off a two year subscription. And use coupon code Big Money for not one. Not two, not even three, motherfucker. Four goddamn months for free. What the hell are you waiting for? Limited time, y'all, so act now, you stupid bitch. Don't forget about that 30-day money-back guarantee. Oh, howdy there, Tiny Sean. Too many hoople heads out there giving a lick and a promise when it comes to their internet security. Well, I could set with that. Plus, how else am I supposed to get around these godforsaken region block videos? Yeah, well, you just gotta wait for somebody to post a mirror in the comments. Shut your big bazoo, you thunderous weasel list you despair of beating. Mosey on over to nordvpn.com slash big money today and protect your identity online with up to six simultaneous connections and apps for iOS and Android devices to secure your mobile browsing experience. I use it to download me. Oh, shut up, you frog face. Fuck, you're not supposed to say that part out loud. God damn it, I ought to throw you back down the well I found you in. Why are you gonna just say that part, huh? You know we're gonna get in trouble now. You can't say that. You can't tell people. Come here, I'm gonna kill you. I'm gonna kill you. That's right, partner. Head on over to nordvpn.com slash big money. Get yourself 68% off a two-year plan plus four months for free. All right, okay. So, uh, what did you guys think? Um, you know this is a Western theme, right? Uh, I've been thinking, you know, this is 2020. British, I'm British, oh, my thoughts on a British oh, All right, there are so many of you talking at the same time right now. It might have been a mistake to give all 100 of you microphone privileges. Can, can we just do it one at a time here? All right, A Moz. Yep, that's me. Is there anything I could have done to make this ad sexier? Violence. Violence, okay. Okay, okay. Here's a question for everybody. Uh, feel free to all answer at once. What if I added more cowboys? I think they. Uh huh. Uh huh. Oh, that's an excellent suggestion. Yes, absolutely. What did you do, Eric? Why did you do this to us? All right, guys. Well, I think I got everything I need here. Thank you all so much for participating in this focus group. And uh, hey, on the count of three, let's all say what our favorite VPN is. Right? One, two, three. No. <laughs> This is the biggest clusterfuck in the world. Okay, well, that's the end of the focus group. Say goodnight, everybody. Good night. Good night. Why would you do this? Why wouldn't I do this? And delete voice channel. There we go. The perfect ad. And just in time for Black Friday. Wait a second. Oh, fu it's fucking Saturday? Oh, I, ah, oh, oh, fuck. Yeah, hey, come on down to nordvpn.com slash big money for our Cyber Monday. Sale. That's right, I put on my best bib and tucker for the occasion. Now with this Cyber Monday deal, you can get 68% off a two year subscription. Limited time, y'all, so act now, you stupid bitch. Cyber Monday. <laughs>
This end of Lesson Button brought to you by Ubisoft's Rainbow Six Siege. Join the Rainbow Six team on PS5 December 1st. Yo, my boy works for Walmart and he sold me a whole pallet of PS5s. Anybody want one? Shut the fuck up. I'm serious though, I got like 30 of these things in my garage. Seriously, shut, shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck oh, up. Oh shit, I think this guy's wearing a wire. What? Why? Sorry, homie. No witnesses.